Hi, this is Joey O'Neill from Sound Systems Incorporated over in uh, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And today we're at Livingston Baptist Church over in Delco, North Carolina. Purpose of this video is not for any uh, technical training, but I'm showing the staff and crew here how to operate a couple of new devices that we have recently installed. The church has a current uh, projection system, a pull-down screen, and an uh, audio speaker system. We didn't do much changes with that other than doing a few uh, rerouting of a, a few things, giving them independent control for uh, different things, mix, monitor mixes and such. But what we did do is the church had located in the pulpit area a Balin, which is a way to hook up a computer, with a VGA connection and an HDMI connection. So therefore, if they decided to clear the stage for a wedding or a funeral or a play, they had to tear the pulpit down and move it off. So we pulled Cat5 and hooked up the current church-owned HDMI Balin back here in the sound booth. Now, what does all that mean? Basically means that you could run the computer system, video system, back in the sound booth now and not have to completely rely on being on stage. So the reason we're seeing my computer image up on the screen is just to prove that we have video image going <laughs> to the current projector. We weren't really planning on doing it this way. The purpose of this, of this uh, laptop that we purchased for the church was to actually record a robotic camera that we have installed. When you walk into the main entrance of the sanctuary, uh, obviously above the door in the center, we have installed a robotic 360-degree uh, remote-controlled camera. In the previous instructions, I had an audio mixer over on that side, and let me see if I can just scan it real quick. There is a CD player right below the green numbers that said 72.9, and on the right of that, right about here, there, there is a remote sensor, and that remote sensor works with this wireless unit. So I have a wireless remote control that I can point at that remote sensor, and I have a joystick capabilities where I can move things around, left, right, up, down, pan, tilt, zoom in, zoom out, do all the kind of neat stuff that a, that a camera should be able to do. But for these purposes, I've installed presets, so we can actually recall up to nine presets where we can find a setting that we like at the church, we can recall number, a particular number, hit call, and the camera will move automatically to that area. But the reason I'm showing you the computer is because now it's twofold. Let's say that an evangelist or a missions team come and they would like to have, uh, they have their information on a jump drive or other some type of information. We could actually take this computer, hook it up to the HDMI cable, which is labeled HDMI, and I've also labeled the HDMI input of the computer, or actually would be output in this case, and they could give a presentation on this computer up to the, to the screen. There again, the purpose of this computer was to actually record the camera that we have installed, but now it becomes twofold. Over to the side where we normally would hook our headphones out, if you look in the previous video, we had a small new PV mixer that we're feeding out of the congregation mics and the direct out from the audio mixer, and that comes right into this little plug, and we're using the line input so that we can have a direct video signal and a direct audio signal combine the two together to make a recording for us. <clears throat> Over on this side, there is a USB camera installed. You might be able to see right on the edge of the video. Yes, you can. And this USB cable is labeled as camera, and there is a label right above it that says camera to notify where to plug this in. So this laptop becomes many, two-fold or many-fold. HDMI input would go out to the projector if we needed to, which is, and actually we're looking at my screen on the projector, and then a camera input. So biggest question is, how do you make all this work and how do you record? So let's, let's go through a setting on here. There are thousands of free video software programs available. I have chosen this program that you may or may, may not be able to see on the screen. It's called VLC Media Player. And it's a very simple unit to operate and it lets us record the camera image and audio image. So for these purposes, I'm going to play some music and let that play. 
and that would assimilate somebody talking into a microphone. <clears throat> and I'm going to try to do this left-handed, but I'm going to move the mouse over here. I'm going to move the mouse over here with my left hand, and I'm going to double-click on VLC Media Player. And that should open up here. There we go. VLC Media Player. Let me turn this down just a little bit for now. And how I get started is I come up here to the top of my menu where it says Media. I click on Media, and it's almost impossible to see on my screen. But what we're going to do is we scroll down one, two, three, four, five, six rows, and it says Open Capture Device. I click on that, and I have to tell it, it says Video Device Name, and if I go over here to Default, there's an arrow down. I click on that, and I come down here to near, it says Nearest NEA RUS Camera. I click on that, and then right underneath it, right here, it says Audio Device, and I click on that, and I go down one, two, three lines to it says Line In Realtek Audio. I click on that, and then I hit play, and that's the only thing I'm doing. So what I'm really telling the computer is where to get its video from and where to get its audio from. So now we have an image of the pulpit uh, with the offering table. Now that's stored as a preset. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and mash preset number two and hit call. And what I'm doing is I'm pointing it at the remote sensor I just showed you on the video. And there's my setting number two, which is kind of a natural shot of the congregation. I uh, forgot what three is, but I'm going to hit three and call. All right, there's our orchestra and piano, and it takes it a second to move and focus. Number four is baptistry. Five, organ. Six, and what I'm doing is I'm pushing the number and hitting call. Let's see, six and call another Baptist, and I'm going to go back just for now to two and hit call, and now we have a normal shot of the stage. So what we're doing is we're feeding audio from the music that's being played, and we should hear that, and we do. So now I'm going to turn this off, and now that I've showed you how to operate that, here's how we're going to record the service. We're going to come over here to, it says playback, the second row over, and we're going to come down here and we're going to hit record. And as soon as I hit record, obviously it starts recording. So I'm going to turn my music up. Uh, song's over, of course. And I'm going to do a quick recording where I'm going to change a preset. turn my music up and down real quick just to give us something to go by. And I'm going to mute that. And now I'm going to stop it. So I'm going to come over here, the second line over says playback, and I'm going to hit stop. And it goes away. I'm going to close the program. All right, so now I've done recording. The question is, where's the file? Where's the recording at? So I come down here to the very bottom of my computer. I'm using Windows 10. And there's a section there, ah, sorry, this is a touchscreen computer too, I forgot to say. There are my files, and over here it says videos, this PC, I'm going to double click on that. And it says VLC record, 2017, 0419, and it gives me the hours and the time. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to say open it with media player, just for something, just for kicks. <coughs> And here comes a small screen. Oh, I said I had a problem, sorry. All right, let's try opening it with something else.
All right, close everything out here. Go back to my file. There's my file. 